What's nice about that is it reduces its risk from being associated and relying on a single industry alone. So think about it, when the pandemic hit, I think property developers got hit the most, but Globe did very, very well. So there's a balancing act also on how their business is. They're also banking on how the future will be. That's why you have AC Energy with it as well. Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about and drill further with Philippine stock. I posted a video about this, a technical analysis video about this. But as I posted that video, a lot of you guys were also asking, can you share more also about the company and the fundamentals as well? Because people need to realize this, that over the short term, it's prices sentiment that causes stocks to move. But over the long term, it's really the business and the fundamentals that drives its value. And as you all know, it's the value of the business that causes the prices to go up. It's how people perceive that value. And if you're not the person that's timing the market, but you're the type of person that wants to invest in it for the long term, then knowing how good the company is will allow you to sleep soundly at night. So for our deep dive, I want to talk about Ayala Corporation. And I want to title this video, 10 Good Things About Ayala Corporation. It doesn't mean that I mentioned about 10 good things and something that you would jump off the gun start investing i highly suggest that even after this video that you do your own due diligence and then you take the time to study you take the time to learn and you take the time also to become a better investor because if you study it after this also it will give you the conviction if you study it also after this it will give you somehow no, the ability to be able to learn things on your own that even if markets drop, which happens, you would not panic and you would not be scared. So the first thing that's interesting about Ayala Corporation is this. It has a very, very strong financial performance. Ayala Corporation has a very, very strong track record of financial performance with consistent revenue growth and high profit margins. Number two is this, and this is what I like about them. They have a very, very diversified portfolio. The company has a diversified business, including real estate, which is Ayala Land. And even Ayala Land as a whole is already something that's diversified because they have offices, residential buildings, but they also build estates and they build houses. They also have malls. But aside from real estate, they have banking, one of the largest banks in the Philippines, BPI. Then they have healthcare hospitals. Then they're also into the renewable energy space via AC Energy. You can also add Globe to the mix, which is one of the largest telecom companies in the country. But under Globe also, you can put Gcash, which I think has revolutionized how people have stored and paid money also in the Philippines. Gcash, even if it's not a listed company, and even Mint on top of it, it's already valued for billions of dollars. And Globe has exposure in it, and in turn also Ayala Corporation also has exposure in it. Then you also have Ayala Land Logistics, which I think double downs on e-commerce and logistics, which moved also because of the pandemic as well. So it's highly diverse from energy to logistics to land to banking. What's nice about that is it reduces its risk from being associated and relying on a single industry alone. So think about it, when the pandemic hit, I think property developers got hit the most but Globe did very very well so there's a balancing act also on how their business is they're also banking on how the future will be that's why you have AC Energy with it as well number three is this Ayala established brand reputation Ayala Corporation is a well-established brand with a long history of providing products and services which gives a very very competitive advantage and you'll see that in real estate as long as it's Ayala there's a premium BPI already has a very, very strong brand as well. And even for foreign investors, they look at Ayala because it's a brand that they already know. It's a company that's very reputable. It's a company that they would rather get into because they know already as compared to trying to study something new as well. Number four is strong leadership. And this is something that's very, very evident and seen. Ayala Corporation is led by experienced and competent executives who have a proven track record of success. And you can see the list of their executives, not just from Ayala Corp as well, but from the other companies below it. Um, a lot of the people that are there not just have proven track records, but they're people of integrity as well. Number five is this. They have a lot of strategic partnerships. The company has established strategic partnerships with leading companies in various industries, expanding its reach and increasing its competitive. And a good template for that is to see what they've done with their strategic partnerships for Gcash. Gcash has been here 
for so long already. But because of their strategic partnerships, look at how it has evolved and how it has reached new heights and how it has gone to the next level. I've seen that over and over into their different companies also where it would have been Ayala would develop the land with the original owners of the property to see how it blossomed massively when Ayala took over and when Ayala made that strategic partnership. So they're very, very good. They're, they're very picky on who they work with. But from their track record of the partnerships that they've done, they seem to have delivered over and over and over. Number six is this, their focus on sustainability. Ayala Corporation has a strong commitment to sustainability and environment responsibility, which is becoming increasingly important for consumers and investors. And their goal is to be carbon neutral in the next few years. And as you all know, younger investors, that's so important. ESG is so important. And it's nice to have a Filipino company that's in the forefront also of this. Because we have to take care of planet Earth. We have to make Earth sustainable. Even for me, I have a seven-month-old daughter. I want that when she's in her 20s, in her 40s, and her 60s, and in her 80s, that I did what I can to be able to make Earth better for her. She would have a better future because I invested properly as well, and I invested in the right companies too. Number seven, growing markets. The company operates in growing markets such as the Philippines and Southeast Asia where there's a significant potential for growth. There's so much development in Southeast Asia. It's a region in the world where there's still so much growth potential and the population that's very, very young are now starting to work. They're now in the demographic sweet spot where there will be massive consumption in the decades to come. And if you look at this entire Southeast Asia region from Philippines to Indonesia to Vietnam to Malaysia and then even if you go expand that further to other countries beyond that where those countries also trade with or do services with as well. The bigger that becomes, the larger Ayala's exposure in the region is, the better it would be too. Number eight is this, investment in research and development. Ayala Corporation invests heavily in research and development to stay ahead of industry trends and to maintain its competitiveness, which I think is very important for companies to be relevant, especially right now the technology is evolving very, very fast. Number nine is this, and uh, this is something that's very important to me as an investor also. They have very, very strong investor relations. The company is focused on investor relations and transparency, which helps to build trust and attract investment. And that's nice, especially for a foreign investor or you're a person who doesn't really have the time to look at everything that's going on or you don't like rumors. It's nice to invest in a company that you trust. It's nice to invest in a company that's very transparent. And it's nice to invest in a company that as you talk to them, as you reach out to them, it's easy also to get a hold of them and to be able to have meaningful conversations with those companies as well. And number 10 is this, community involvement. Ayala Corporation is active in the community, supporting local initiatives and contributing to social and economic development, which enhances its reputation and its brand value as well. Those are 10 things about Ayala Corporation. I could do a, a deeper dive also on its financials. We could talk more about its cash flow, we could talk more about its debt, we could talk more about the contribution of earnings of different companies as well. We could talk about valuations also and so many things. Just put them down in the comment section if you have detailed questions on valuations of the company and I would like to do videos on that for you. But there, create high level overview of the different facets of Ayala Corporation. And I think that could serve as a template also for you guys if you want to analyze different companies that are almost in the same category as Ayala Corporation. As you all know, there's different conglomerates in the Philippines from SM to GT Capital to LTG. But what I want you to get above and beyond the things that I've mentioned is the logic behind it. Because those things you can also superimpose and you can also do and try as you analyze different companies as well. I hope you guys learned a lot from this. If you want to know more about the basics of what the stock market is, I've written books about it. Links are in the description below. And aside from books, I have thousands of videos in YouTube, all free that you could watch out for. But if you want to have a deeper dive also on how to analyze the markets, I have videos on fundamental and technical analysis. Um, you can check them out in the description below. And if you stayed up until then and you see value in videos like this that I create, appreciate it if you can press the like button, you can subscribe, and you can smash the bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing. And it's time that you start saving and you start investing and you start investing properly, informed, that you don't just give in to hype you don't just give in to whatever you hear from people. What will give you the strength to make investing sustainable for you is you do it the right way 
you take the time to learn, you take the time to be better at your investments. So that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon and God bless you all.